I'm curious if in particular you had any challenges building a global team rapidly now across three countries? Yeah, lots of uh, challenges and learnings. I think that um, by building a global team, it, it helped that my co-founder and I are very close um, because, uh, and we're very close friends, almost like best friends because um, uh, we talk when we want to talk, not only when we absolutely have to talk. And so it's not like we're putting yeah. out fires, we're proactively talking. Um, yeah. So that's helped. But I think more generally, um, I think the time zone is very difficult uh, between like 12 hour time zones. I don't recommend doing that, to be honest. Uh, I mean, just to be honest with you, uh, if I had to do it again. So I think it's important the time zones are much closer together. It seems obvious, but um, we, we, we've been, we pulled it off, but it's, it's very difficult. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I think that um, you get subcultures that, um, that uh, develop in different regions uh, that can be very different. Okay. So I think it's very important that not just the leadership, which is a mistake talk, but like employees are talking and working together on projects that are below the manager level. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, selectively. So start off with one project with employees. Not everyone suddenly does it. See how it goes and then learn from there. Um, we, we recruited people actually in the U.S., that are particularly larger international event, particularly in the U.S. because I think yeah. my bias is U.S. is a big country and sometimes people in the U.S. are more U.S. centric because it's a very wealthy country. Uh, and so having people that want, really want that global experience uh, and say that in their interview is important and have some experience that suggests that they want to learn about other cultures uh, mm -hmm. is, is I think very important. It's not um, like an evil, but it's almost like a, an interest that they have on the right. recruiting side. So I think there, there's other other learnings, but I would say that, you know, um, having people that want it, looking for it, making sure that you test out projects, maybe the founders, right, or the senior management first right. to get on a project and define a way of working. Um, and then third, just recognizing that time differences are, are, are really hard, big time differences. And I, rec I recommend that um, they're not, not that hard, yeah. And of course, doing frequent Zooms and catch-ups and, and talking about things that are not work-related, you know, playing online games together, talking about things personally. You know, one of the people I really like what they're doing, our Mexico lead, is he does, he does uh, for the Mexico team, he does like business school cases because he went to a business school oh, nice. with the team and then us in the U.S., right? Yeah. He, had, he had one where they were sharing, like people were talking about their pets. Mm -hmm. uh, he did an English-Spanish one where the Spanish speakers in Mexico did a you know one hour a week speak English with the U.S. team, uh, so things that are like really fun, yeah, uh, that are not work related. I think are also like really important. Yeah, very cool.